Hey besties and thank you so much for joining me in today's video and welcome if you're new. Before I even jump into the video, I just cannot continue before I say it was so heartwarming to me to look at the comments from the last video I posted everyone from different places of the world taking time out of their days to watch me talk about fragrances things i'm passionate about it just it's insane and it makes me feel so overwhelmed with love and appreciation and just i don't know like it's like a bond and i hope that you guys do enjoy the videos and seeing your comments just made me so happy from the netherlands from germany where i once was other comments from people from florida it's just so beautiful and it made me so happy and you guys gave me some really good recommendations to add to my list but I asked you guys in the community tab what do you want to see next on the channel and you guys said by a long shot the Kayali Oudgasm collection review now I only got three of the four fragrances I didn't think that tobacco oud would work for me if I'm being honest and with the price increase no one's talking about that I am not on the PR list so I bought all of these with my own money as I always do this is $38 for the mini, and I'm pretty sure... So I did look it up, and $25 to $27, depending, of course, on which mini format you get, is the price range. You either have, like, those long ones or these little miniatures of the big bottles, which, can I just say, I love this because it really does, like, scratch that, that itch that you have to get the big bottles when you're getting a very similar experience, but just condensed and mini. It just makes you feel better you don't feel like you're missing out and you feel like you can actually have because I don't know I don't like the plain little skinny I don't I don't like that I hate travel sometimes because I really want the full effect and this I do feel so much better about so I will put that out there but this one is $38 so there is an increase and then also if you do get the 1.7 fluid ounces which is the biggest size they're offering for these bottles it will be $145 instead of the typical $100 but you guys they were worked on these perfumes for so long, so many years I believe, and then it just took a lot of effort to curate them, I'm sure, so I'm not mad at that. I'm more so just putting that out there just so that you guys know, and also because, you know, that's the reason I didn't get all four. Maybe if they were 25 each, I would have, but, you know, I didn't want to spend that, and I, I genuinely don't feel like I would love it, so I hope you guys don't mind. Now, all of these I really do enjoy. Some are more intense than others, but I will just say as a disclaimer, not None of these are beasts in the same way that Kayali Royale is, not even close, but I do really like them. So of course, starting with the fragrance with the least amount of oud, this one is Vanilla Oud, and for me, this one you do get slight hints of that oud, but it really, really is in the background. This perfume is not offensive, it is not intense, it is not overwhelming in the same way that Vanilla Royale is, but what I do like is the same sugared vanilla note that you get in that perfume, you kind of get in this one, but it's just so much more wearable. So if you did kind of get on with Vanilla Royale, but you found it to be bothersome or just way too intense for you I think that this one would be perfect not saying that you're getting you know everything the same I'm just saying that note specifically you're really still picking up on in this perfume which I love this perfume like I don't know they just do vanillas so well and I'm obsessed with every single one. So for me, this one does remind me of the holidays like a lot, especially if you're somewhere where it's still kind of hot out. Smells like a warm, cozy hug. I love the note of cashmere wood in this fragrance. You really pick it up, and I think mixed in there with the vanilla and also the praline, it's just like such a beautiful, musky, powdery, sweet slightly woody fragrance. I love this. I think it also has a note of rose, but I'm really not picking that up in the fragrance too, too much. As well as pear, which I'm also not getting a lot of. So for me, this one is great. I do find this one to be the easiest to wear, and it's just very inoffensive for a oud fragrance. I think so many people are going to love this fragrance in the same way that I do, and I mean, you can mix this with the cafe. You can mix this with other perfumes in your collection. Mix it with maybe like, I don't know, what else would you mix this with? Maybe this one and Vanilla 28 would be really pretty too. I just think this one is lovely, and I can't say anything bad about it. 
other than the fact I wish it was a little bit stronger in that projection, but you are left with the most beautiful scent bubble. You really, really are. But that cashmere wood note in here, it just, it, it really works. It really does. This one has top notes of praline saffron pear, middle note of Bulgarian rose, base note of vanilla sugar, cashmere wood, white musk, oud, and oak moss. Now listen, you guys, I take my coffee very seriously. I drink a coffee every single day. I wake up, love the smell, love the taste, and love the energy. Now, there's also usually at all times a coffee like an arm's distance away. So when I saw that K.A. Lee was dropping a coffee-inspired scent, I was so excited. So, so, so intrigued by this one, Cafe Oud and I have to say it's not what I was expecting but not in a bad way I just feel like I was thinking from the note of cappuccino it was gonna be a little bit more like creamy milky vibes maybe but this one for sure you're getting that dry dark kind of coffee bean vibe for sure and that smell and mixed in, you do get the oud, but I still don't think it's too, too overwhelming. And what I'm really getting as well is the rose. So if a rose coffee fragrance sounds great to you, I think you would love this one. I will say on first impression, like spraying it right on my skin, there's something very, I'm sure it's the oud because oud can come off a bit um, musty really really potent and it might throw you off in the beginning but if you really let it dry down I think it does get creamier it gets a bit sweeter and definitely not as overwhelming as the first initial spray because you guys I think there's also a note of patchouli the first time I did put this on I'm not gonna lie to you someone told me I smelled like body odor now I am a person that is very very um open when it comes to my fragrances so for me I really love this one I think that this one is beautiful it's unique and it's a twist on coffee that I don't have in my collection already although I could see some people disliking this one so I would just say maybe smell it in store I don't know if you can smell this in store that's why I think they should have the samples always available but um yeah you know in the dry down I think it definitely does become less with the earth if if you know what I mean sorry like my throat got choked up but um yeah, it does become more likable in the dry down. You get more of the florals, you're getting more of the creamy vanilla, and mixed with the coffee, it's just a really nice time, and I think it's very pretty. Um, I just think it's not going to be for everybody, but for me, I can appreciate it. Do I like it more than vanilla? I don't know. I could see myself mixing them and that being a really beautiful combination, so I don't have to pick, because I don't want to pick a favorite, so... Yeah, you guys let me know down below if you've smelled both. What are your thoughts on this one and which one do you prefer between the two? The notes are cappuccino, bergamot, and mandarin in the top and I could see some citrus there for sure in the opening. Middle notes of geranium and rose and base notes of oud, vanilla, white musk, and patchouli. Now, rose oud, I could for sure see myself getting in the big bottle. This one is absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. It is sexy. I find this one to be so pretty. Like, you know how I do those pretty girl fragrances? This would for sure be there. I know that Rose and Oud is a popular combination, but here it just works so well. I don't find this perfume to be too mature. I feel like the peony in it really does help it to be more youthful. I love that note in fragrances, I really do. And even though I'm not getting too, too much of that, I think it really does add to my liking of the fragrance as well as the vanilla at the base. Now I will say for me personally, it opens up super fresh and spicy. And as it dries down, though, you really get those florals, the geranium, the rose, the peony, and it's just such a magical fragrance. It's beautiful. I'm not saying I've never smelled anything similar, but the way it's done in this fragrance, no note is done, like, everything is done perfectly. There's a perfect balance between these notes, which makes the oud acceptable to me even though i thought the fragrance with the most amount of oud in it would be the most intimidating it's not it's done in a beautiful beautiful way and there's also a note of lemon which i think adds to the freshness and on the dry down it does get a bit musky 
but in the best way possible and that's coming from the cashmere wood so the texture of this perfume is just so stunning and as of right now i do think if i was going to get a full bottle it would either be of this perfume or vanilla oud now this one i do get really nice longevity on it the projection is pretty moderate for me i do get good projection and good longevity with this one and cafe oud but i will say vanilla i just wish there was more projection but it does last so yeah i really really like this one i would love to get it in a full bottle so pretty so feminine and for me, I loved this one instantly, whereas the other two, I did have to kind of warm up to them a little bit more. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I'm seriously so impressed. I totally forgot I did not read the notes of Rose Oud. Top notes of Geranium, Lemon and Pear, Middle Notes of Bulgarian Rose and Peony, and Base Notes of Oud, Vanilla, and Cashmere Wood. Bye! But yeah, those were my thoughts on the Oogasm collection. I will definitely do some type of update on these perfumes, but those were my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to let me know down below what your thoughts are on the collection. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good things. I will see you in the next one, besties. Bye!